Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. Brown Tech and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing on a new lawn to my collection. Now I haven't done something like this in quite a long time. So and now this one, this particular one here I received back in mid-October, which I believe is my Firex FADC 230. So let's get started anyways. Now, this box is a lot bigger than I thought. This is going to be a bit tricky. I think it came off. Let me cut it off. That. The lumps have been here. Now I did get this one and ordered this new box. And so it should be in here. Yeah, it seems like the set of that's packaged this very well. So if I can take it out, remove that, and yeah, and there's the lot of them in there, and looks like the set of that reloaded in there as well. So I'm going to take the bubble wrap, bubble wrap off now. Right. And there's the box. Now, judging by the pictures, I believe this one was made at some stage in 2001. So, let's take one of this off. With all the packaging finally removed, use the box itself. So, as you can see, it's model FADC 230. Now, the thing now, these weren't too pop, too now, these aren't too common here in the UK as, as, as these, these fireworks were a lot more popular here, and this is. No, no, and this is the PADC 230. And as you can see, it has the battery door in the back of them. And this is also full electric, but anyways, I'm going to open the box up on this side. And I'm in it. Oh, so it says alkaline battery included, and so it's well. As you can see there, there's a front load or easy access battery to a false alarm control, ramp up one, or also known as ramp up test, which I'll get to in a bit, and to connect to up to 36 unit, units, latching alarm LED and power link battery tab, and also has a six year warranty, which is surprising. So I'm going to open the box up now. So you can see in there. So first thing we have is our <clears throat> it's our two thirty fold and connect or pigtail here. As you can see it's the connector. And there's the three wires, so there's your live neutral neutral and your interconnect wire. As you can see they already went pre stripped except for the interconnect. So I'm going to set that aside over here. And here we also have our standard Kitty Firex mounting bracket, which works with, which they actually still make today is for any Firex alarms, and even this one would be compatible with it. So I'm going to put that aside. 
it looks like we also have some mounting hardware and the extraction book here so if we take the alarm out of the box now so, they, so there it is so set that there now set the box to the side and you can see it has a nice quite a nice dust cover actually there's a warning stick in there as well so I'm going to take this off so put that over there and here's the alarm itself as you can see it's right pulled out here there's some information there yeah, and that's why right. this one was made in. No, this one was made in 2001, May 14th. And it says they were placed in the lobby 2012. So I'm going to pull out the battery tab. Just like that. And as, as, as you can see in there, it comes with. This energizer, old energizer battery. And if you look in there, it says warning battery has been removed in this here. We plot a taste symbols there. So we, that's a real for sticker down there, but I'm going to put the battery back in now. Fit. Well, there you go. Now let's close the cover. I was surprised it didn't chirp or anything there. So let's give it a test. Yeah, I think the battery's actually died. Oh wait, this is an anti tamper door there, because it says to open battery to insert screwdriver into slot and depress while sliding battery to open. So I'm going to be back in a second. So I'm back with a screwdriver and as you can see the alarms beeping for some reason. So we're chirping. So I'm going to open this battery door now. So I might as well open it now and it stop chirping. So yes yeah, so I'm just going to put in the fresh battery. So hopefully this one would work better. So it's inserted, so let's close the cover. And there we go. There's a loud chirp and scenery indicator for us. So let's give it a test. So as you heard there, that was the ramp up test. So as I press the button, it would do two small, two quieter chirps then, and would go into full long. As you can see. Now, when this detects smoke, it would just go straight into alarm, but it's very cool to see that this has ramp, ramp up test. Now, the thing is, the other fireworks model, the PADCs, these don't have ramp up test, it just goes straight into a long. So it's nice to see this one as it. Now another thing about these as well, I believe these were don't these were the only models produced in the UK. As these were then phased out at some states. But I believe in but I believe in America these are quite popular alarms and still being produced today so I believe it's called the fireworks i4618 which is basically a new version of this which is that which is also manufactured which is actually manufactured by Kidder but 
Yes, sir. Uh, forget the menu here. First thing you can see is all the different models. So there's the Iron Season, with, Iron Season one, which is 3240, I think. Then here we have the PA3240, which is obviously this one I have here. Now the FADC was the success, successor to the ADC, or also this alarm. But in the UK, these were also still being produced along with this alarm here. And then these were phased out, but they still produce a new version of these today, surprisingly. But another cool feature I like about these is I believe this. Now, I believe these were manufactured in, in, 90, in 1999, and these were also the first alarms to have the front loading battery door and as you can see this one has a locking battery door and because of that there's no battery door back here like you would normally see on a fireworks and there's the labels there, there as well now I don't understand why on these fireworks they put this label here because there's do not remove this label for whatever reason. But I don't think it serves any purpose, but anyways. And yeah, this connect. No, and they actually still make these connectors today as well with the newer fireworks, but this one would just pop straight onto there. Just like that. So we take it out. So now if we have a closer look at the front cover we can see some text there and it says turn to remove so you just twist it anti-clockwise, take it off, just the mounting bracket which is here and it also says refer to this manual for operating instructions, it also says do not paint. Now, a sim also another similar model of this that's still being produced today is actually the heat alarm version, which basically has a heat. So instead of the battery door being here, it's actually in the back and it uses the same design, but you have a reheating heat sensor here, which are still being made today as well, along with the PADs and sorts, also the heat alarm versions. Also known as the KF30, which are lot, which, which be rarer than these, but since these aren't being made anymore, then heat alarms would be a lot more common. Now, one thing I do like about the older fireworks is here you have the bracket, but now I play, now on the US versions of the FADC. The brackets are actually hidden behind this wee lip here. While on this for while on the UK version, if you put it on, if it fits on, I'm gonna put it on the wrong way, but if I can find it, there we go. Now, and as you can see, yeah. This is not properly, but as you can see on the UK version, the brackets are actually protruding out along the edges. But I do prefer the US style bracket a lot more since it's actually hidden behind. So there you go. I'm going to take it back off. But also there's a big tab there, so you can't take the alarm off. So what you need to do is Get a wee screwdriver, press it in, then just twist off your seat link or the bracket, just like that. So, anyways, going to have a wee overview of the wee user manual here. And as you can see, that actually tells you, so it's your description of all of the different models. So like the FADC 230, this one, the GC 240, 
the i240c the iar230c mod the mod of pa pg240 the pad 240 and the padc 240 including the pr pr 230 and also tells you all of the features about this particular law and there's some more of the manual as well tells you about installation and such and there's a lot more here I can get into cap interview as you can see no, I'll put it back up so anyways now it is a bit of a shame that they stop producing these heroes these are really nice a lot in my opinion but now the thing is these aren't these weren't really that popular here as now I only ever seen these in a house once I think it was at one of my mom's friends or something and there are two of these and one of them the battery door was broken off and the other one had no battery upstairs Eve well both alarms had no batteries but the other thing there was the easy were never chirping which is probably the same floor but either way these are over 10 years old anyways and that's why the ASOS who has we stick here telling you when to replace the alarms and as you can see that one just chirped which probably indicates that it's at end of life so we give it one last test and now conclude the video. So here we go. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this re unboxing video of my new fireworks FADC 230. I'm going to say said smoke alarm. So now hopefully, so soon I'll also be making more videos like this since recently I also received some other alarms so it's, I'll be showing you soon. And this is definitely a quite unique alarm, especially for the UK market and sadly these weren't manufactured for too long but in the US these are new furs of these are still being made today. But anyways I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. So like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification button. Bye.